Good morning. Eric Olson here, owner of Thomas McGee's Sporting House in Eastern Market, downtown Detroit. Wishing everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day and a safe one. Nick Drinks. Thanks for coming in. Let's talk about some Bushmills Irish whiskey. Bushmills is uh, one of the oldest distillery, if not the oldest distillery in the world. Um, and they own everything. They own their own grain. What we have here today are the three basic blends of Bushmills, the two classic ones, and then we're going to talk about the new Red Bush. Bushmills is a uh, blended barley whiskey uh, made in Northern Ireland. Um, it's also awesome. it's made on the coast, so with the classic white label Bushmills, when you drink it real slow, you, you almost get a little bit of aromatic sea salt and orange. What we're talking about today is the release of Red Bush. It's a triple distilled, like, like most Irish whiskeys, triple distilled, and it's matured in American white oak bourbon cask. It's a, it's a crossover whiskey geared to the American market, uh, a little bit more of a sweet grain, not, not a, only a grain forward, but a barrel forward, new world style whiskey. Um, I like it. I think that they've hit both sides of it. We get a bourbon sweetness in the front with a classic Bushmills finish. I would best serve you Red Bush uh, on the rocks or as in a, in a shot. Um, I would serve the white label Bushmills uh, on the, next to a pint of Guinness. And uh, I, we, of course, every day, all day, we serve it in our Irish coffees. Black Bush with the sherry finish is just a, a, a neat pour, possibly a rock or two in there. The McGee family is from uh, County Antrim in Northern Ireland. And uh, that, that county uh, starts off with Bush, uh, Belfast at the very uh, southern end, and then all the way up to the north in the town of Bushmills where the whiskey's. What do I recommend for St. Patrick's Day? We have a number of Irish beers on tap. So uh, I think to my knowledge in Detroit, in Detroit area, we're the only bar that carries Kilkenny Irish Cream Ale. Uh, we sell a lot of Harp, Smittix, Guinness, Murphy's. Um, we drink a lot of whiskey here. We have a great selection of Irish whiskey. So what would I do for St. Patty's Day? Uh, being that I'm uh, grown up and more mature these days, rather than hammer 22 shots in the morning, I would, uh, I'd slowly enjoy the day uh, with a couple of pints and uh, some good whiskey neat on the side. My feelings on the Irish car bomb, I think it's a stupid name for a drink. And here we try to refer to it as an Irish boiler maker. It's no different than somebody coming from Ireland or the UK over to America and naming a drink an OKC bomb. Um, so we try to use a little discretion when we say that. So in closing, I'd like to say thanks for coming in today to Thomas McGee's. Uh, everybody enjoy your holiday, your St. Patrick's Day. Be safe. Thanks uh, for tuning in to Nick Drinks. And uh, here's to you. Nick Drinks. Drinks.